Hello crafty friends, this is Iris and I am doing here a quick glimpse into my new crafty space. I'll put a link in my notes for uh, the video I did of my old room, which I'd been in for about nine years. And uh, you can see the things, how things were set up there. And uh, in this room, We've been here a week and the furniture has basically been moved in and I think it's mostly where I want it. There are a few things I might change. Uh, it's not pretty yet and I'll show you at the end the stack of boxes that I now need to unload into here. But the furniture is pretty much in place. So uh, I'll back up a little bit to show you that uh, I do have double doors. This is a huge room. Uh, I know it'll be, I think it'll be quite shocking to some people. Um, I am so, so happy that we bought this house and I am so lucky to be able to get this room as my craft space. So I'll open the second door. This is meant to be, I think it was billed as a bonus family room. It is upstairs. And um, I painted it the same exact blue color that I had in my old room because I love it so much. In this room, it is a bit um, cooler because I had a, it's, it was a southern facing windows before and now this is um, north. And um, so the light in here is a bit cooler, but I still really like the blue. Okay, so when you come in this wall, Oh, also, I did like a charcoal kind of gray rug. Uh, the regular rug, it's more of a silver rug for the rest of the house. I can see that the coloring is changing when I point in different directions on the video. It's because there's some, you know, the light coming in does affect the coloring. Um, and anyway, so when you come in, this side is gonna have design wall. I took off, this is just like a foam board, eight by four feet, and it's usually, it's been covered with um, felt, a huge piece of felt, and I just threw it in the wash because I've had that three homes, so, <laughs> and many, many years of dust accumulated on the edges, so that's being washed. Uh, I have some boxes here of miscellaneous stuff <laughs> that needs to get put somewhere else. So my husband, I went to Ikea last week and uh, got these three shelves. These are the Billy shelves with the extender at the top. Now in my old room, I had one of these filled with fabric. I called it my fabric pantry. Um, and in my old house in the great room, we had some of these in this sort of corner formation in a different color. It was like a maple color. Uh, to look at like built-ins in the great room. Uh, this room, when I we bought it, had uh, like a built-in desk right here, and it was it was not in good shape. So I took it out and I decided to make this wall sort of like look like those built-ins. So that all they are are IKEA Billy shelves with the extender, and then my husband put put them at an angle, and he. He made himself some little wedge pieces out of wood to keep them together. I don't, he, he worked his magic. He's awesome. So that is now going to house my, my fabric. And the reason why I need more space is, um, I, this room is huge, but it doesn't have the closet. And I used to have a closet in my other craft room. So some of this, I actually had fabric in the closet, um, that I might, put over here and other things are going to go in here. Um, my, the last of my books and magazines that I still keep will probably go here as well. A few other things. Okay. So this is my cutting station. It's counter height. And before it used to sit in my old room on the other side of this desk, which is my sewing desk. So now it's over here in the corner on the right, which might take a little getting used to. The, um, this Omni grid holder has all my quilting rulers, um, and, uh, cutter, 
cutters. The cutters live in, in the pocket. They're not there at the moment, they're packed away. And um, the mats, extra mats. So there's a mat right here. But I have other sizes that I use. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's gonna go up on the wall. And on this wall, I'll put my, um, my thread holder. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of nervous and tongue-tied right now. Um, and, you know, just one of my alt lights. So, coming around here, my um, sewing desk, so my regular quilting machine sits there. This pulls out, so this is a cabinet. It's called a koala cabinet. And so it opens and closes, so there's, you know, you can close the leaves and you can open them up. And please forgive me if I, I sort of lose track that I'm recording and I might go faster or I wave my hands around with the phone on it, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this used to sit under my one window in my, my old room and you know, it has shelves and I, I usually have my, um, the iron, usually it was sitting because this there was a wall here. So I used to have it sitting like on the floor and then, so I put my little, um, it's a little iron board here and I keep my iron close. So that I'm gonna keep this the same way. The U shape works really well. That's a little cutting station. So you, um, when you have to cut small pieces of fabric as you're sewing, you don't have to get up. And um, this lifts up and down, but I don't have the cords. The cords are packed away. Um, so, so I had this under a window and I, I, I love windows. So here I put it under the main window. I do have another window you'll see in a second. This is the view I have out of this, out of this room. This is my neighborhood, my new neighborhood. Hi neighborhood. I'm on second floor. Some pretty houses. I get to see trees. My old backyard, I, I saw like it was courtyard with the table and then like the back fence and that's it. <laughs> so it's my new view, which I am ecstatic about. You can even see some hills over there. Okay, so I'm, I was happy to put my sewing station under a window. Now this side is new. So before I had my computer would rest on that sewing desk and I sort of like move it to the back end when I had to sew and all that. So now I actually have a separate station. So so this closes. I'm gonna probably keep this closed most of the time. So it used to be just stayed open. Now I'll just have to be closing and opening because now I have room for an, kind of like an office -y station. No go backwards. This used to sit in my old room on top of that Alex uh, wide drawers. So when I went to Ikea last week, I got the second Alex wide drawers and this, um, I think it's a 79 or 78 inch tabletop, all Ikea. And now, um, before this, um, my silhouette sat on top of an alpha cart, you'll see it later, and um, it was sort of tucked in between the wall that was here and, and this leaf here. It used to sit there. So now it's gonna have a kind of its own, again, its own little dedicated spot, but instead of the alpha drawers, it's an Alex cart, um, so that's new and that'll give me more storage. Um, same, my same huge uh, chair that, eh, it's very comfortable. And I think I mentioned before, the way I picked out this chair was, um, I had had surgery and I went, it was just a couple weeks after surgery and I went to the Staples and I, I spent like two hours sitting in every single chair until I found one where my, my back didn't hurt and I picked that. It's fabulous for sitting in, but it's it's the angle, it's not great for sitting upright to do either sewing 
or, or scrapbooking because, you know, you kind of hunch over, but it really is comfortable. Okay, so um, so now my computer has a dedicated space. My printer has dedicated space. Um, I can take out my, I have another little, uh, I have a portrait um, cameo, um, sorry, portrait silhouette that um, I can still stick there. I have a, my small um, portable Epson PM 400. I can also stick somewhere around here. I think they'll just, now I have dedicated sort of like what I would call office area. Okay, now we're gonna go around. So this is not it. We have more, lots more. All right, this, I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can start getting a sense of how big the room is. Um, so I went around the corner. That corner is going to be a dedicated photography corner because before I had to set up the lights every single time and I even, they are so crowded that I knocked one over and broke the real expensive bulb and all that. So anyways, right now my little guinea pig is, is in that little corner, but he won't always be there. He's gonna go in, um, somewhere else in the, I'm not sure where actually, but uh, I, have, I wanna have my photography lights and the tripod always out there with you know some foam board down below on the floor. But right now he's there and his stuff is here, kind of blocking the way. So I'll just show you. Okay, so let's 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 show you the scrapbooking corner. Okay, so this is another wall in the room, and I am blessed to have a second window with more trees. So that that looks into my. My backyard is sort of in two sides. It's not really a backyard. It's one side of the house, the other side of the house, and it, it wraps around in the back, in a more narrow strip in the back. But anyways, so this is the tabletop I had before. That was my scrap table, and it used to sit across from the sewing station. So now they're on just two walls. Before they were kind of back to back, and I would just twirl my um my chair to go from one to the other okay so now all these were in my old room so they were like two and two and then these guys were on top of one up like this way and these guys were on top of say like here over here and then I used to have a wall and these were stuck up on the wall so now I sort of have the same storage, but um, under the window, I can't really build up this way, but I have the corner. So these are gonna get stuck up on the wall here. And then um, instead of having um, these cubes kind of flanking the desk, which sort of, Made it a little claustrophobic, really. Um, I loved having, see how I have an Alex drawer, the regular ones, and then right next to it, I have another Alex drawer, and it sort of extends the tabletop. Um, so I'm doing that just on one side, and I'm not gonna stick cubes to kind of block the way on either side. Um, so these will be up off the desk, and I still have to put here my stamp storage which are some smaller cube size things and they're not going to fit here right in front of me. So they're just going to have to be off to the side. So I think my desktop will just be more, will be clearer. There will not be as much kind of flanking everything and making it kind of closed off. That's the plan at least. Okay. So, um, this cube used to sit under my desk. I, I don't want anything on my desk. I, I'm going to try to avoid putting anything under my desk because I could build up here a little bit more. And even if I have kind of this area designated as photography and I need to have, be able to access it in and out, I think I could still put stuff up on the walls if I have to. Or, uh, I, well, I wouldn't be able to access them much because of the lights, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll work that out. My dream is actually to have kind of 
photography lights that hang down and aren't on the floor at all. And I'm going to need to get to something here for filming because before these were stuck up on the wall and I would clamp, no, I wouldn't clamp, sorry. I would uh, put one of my huge quilting rulers kind of sticking out and they were wedged with some stuff on top, heavy stuff. And then I would put my cell phone on the clear ruler pointing down at my, at my desktop. I'm not gonna be able to do that now. So I actually have to film an unboxing video right after this. So we'll see what I can come up with. All right, moving on. Um, see, these used to be in my closet, so I'm gonna have to put these somewhere else. Uh, okay, so now <laughs> there's more. Here's the big long wall back towards the oh, oh, entry, and I haven't shown you everything yet. Um, I had these two flanking that one billy, that size billy before, and one side had stamps and the other side had jars of buttons and flowers and whatnot. I'm gonna have both of them be for stamp storage now because I used to have some stamps on my desk and I don't want stuff on my desk anymore. So I'm hoping to just get all my stamps consolidated into these two if I have to, I can get a third and put it there and I, it won't take up so much space. Now these are meant for CDs and DVDs. This is also from Ikea. <laughs> Lots of stuff from Ikea. Ikea is so wonderful. And they're not very deep. So they're um, for DVDs and CDs. And uh, if you see in my last video uh, showing my old storage, um, I had transferred most of my stamps into CD cases. I have plans to take them out of CD cases and transfer them into DVD cases. Still fits in that storage. Um, but you can fit the stamps better in the DVDs versus the CD cases. Um, I've had to cut up the sheets and, and all that. And I, I just wanna, I wanna tidy all that stamp storage again. And I have stamps in one of these down here that are Allie Edwards, and I have some stamps in here that are like Felicity Jane, and then I had some on my desk that were kind of like, uh, I'd taken from different, from different sets, things like circles, any circle I could find, and I put them all into one case, and I just wanna revamp it all and get it all in one spot. I can organize it by, some by manufacturer, some by the subject matter, whatever, but I have plans to just get it all in one place, all in one type of um, storage case. And then I also want to photograph them all and upload them to Google Photos because you can use the Google Photos search engine. You can put in something like love and you'll get every single word phrase that has the word love in it and anything that's a heart. I mean, seriously, it's awesome. So that's, that's in the plans. Okay. I think I'm getting this, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, um, this is one of my typewriters. I inherited this one, it's an electronic. And then this is my little, little blue typewriter that's manual, which is so cute. And I, I got that as a gift. I think this might rest somewhere on my desk. This is my, one of my kids, my older kids sewing machine. She got this when she was, Six or seven, it was. I suggested my mom buy it for her because you know we're a crafty family, and she 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 knows how to use it. Well, I don't know if she still remembers, but she learned how to use it. But it doesn't get used, so um, I want to keep this for stitching on on layouts. So that's why it's going to go here somewhere in the scrap area, and then that way I don't have to deal with changing the you know changing the. Um, the thread and the needle in my quilting full-sized machine. Although this is not like a lot of scrapbookers. It's popular with scrapbookers to get kind of like a small machine just to stitch on layouts. This is still pretty much a full-size machine. It's, it might even be heavier than my, my Viking, but it doesn't have as much options and stuff. Um, so it's not something I can move in, in and out all the time as easily as some of those little tiny ones, but I, I, we have the second machine. It's never getting used. It's gonna get used now. And then I used to have this on top of, um, when these were stacked up higher, 
for my 6x6, and I'm thinking I might switch my 6x6 storage, and I'm not sure how to do that. That's a very small portion of the 6x6 I have paper. Okay, so this is different and new. <laughs> this is an actual kind of a freestanding kitchen island. It is counter height, and it sat in my kitchen before because we had a we had an island and then there was a space where you can put your table but we just like a small table we just had our table in the great room and this was to just have more counter and more storage because that our old um, kitchen did not have very many cabinets at all well here we have a lot more cabinets we don't have space for this and it is now in my craft room and i think it's going to be awesome because it gives me extra, sometimes I like to scrap standing or I do certain things standing. So for instance, I think I'm gonna have my, my cutter pillar, uh, the big one, the pro, this is the crop, but the pro is, is packed away. This is gonna be where I cut paper and I've always had this, it used to be tucked between my, um, all right, I know I'm going back and forth, I'm sorry. So I used to have my cutter pillar sit on top of my cutting station, which has my um, big mat for cutting fabric. And so I had the cutter pillar pro on top and then I have to move it off if I wanted to cut fabric and it's a smaller spot. Anyway, now I'm gonna have this for cutting paper with my cutter pillar pro up here. And I, I, I just like the idea of having extra counter space, which I never had before. And I was always, I'm a, I'm a piler. I stack things all the time. Then I have to move them out of the way to do anything. And I think, excuse me. I think what I'm gonna do with, I'm gonna use this for project life stuff. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Not just project life, but I think I'm gonna consolidate all my project life into here because I can put albums, down here and I store my here I'll show you real quick I store my so it's currently it was sitting here under the printer let's see I store my pages my blank protectors in empty um, albums and my fuse and all that so I am looking forward to taking them out like out of here and really kind of just stacking them plus there's storage in here as well I mean this is it's it's a wonderful piece of furniture I love it I've always loved that I bought it and um, now I'm gonna put it to good use with um, scrapbook storage <laughs> there's infinite possibilities it even has I had my spices on the corners, both corners have corners and that's why it's not up against the wall so I can access the little shelves and I'll probably put like the buttons and uh, whatever I can fit sort of like in jars. It's probably where I'll put those. It has to be the, the skinny jars, but um, yeah. Okay, so let's see what's next. And, and I think I mentioned, this is where I've always used for recycling scraps. And so that's why I always have it by my cutter so I can stick the little slivers of stuff you cut in there. Coming around on the other side of the island, you can access on both sides, all the drawers and the cabinets. Um, these baskets used to be in my closet my craft room closet if you look at the video used to have this set of drawers those are alpha and then it had the rail system with shelves and um, the shelves were like across like this and then on the side like this and then this was on one corner and then there was this rail with these little baskets and they were up against a wall like here, up and down in that same closet. So anyway, those I think we're gonna stick up and down here. So I have all those little shelves. They're really cool. If you go to the container store and look at the Alpha stuff, between that and Ikea's organizing, you can just set up some amazing systems for, for your crafty spaces. Because these just go on the one rail 
they lock in on that the middle and then you just have baskets for whatever you need um, so since I don't have a closet here things are gonna be out, kind of out in the open more so like that so I don't know how 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 it'll look here some parts of my room are gonna be pretty and some parts are not um, we are probably gonna give this to my daughter in her closet because her closet did not have any built-ins at all and we've worked out with some of my um, like the old closet system I was talking about uh, in my craft room that got put in her closet but she she's waiting for me to empty this out and I'm gonna be having another one of these instead but she needs the shorter one okay so this uh, I don't know what I'm gonna put with here yet I just don't really know I'm just gonna work on emptying stuff out and rearranging and then we're back to the doors my um, big iron board I will keep behind the door I have um, one more thing is hiding in here if you see my video I had this it's an old shoe organizer that was hanging behind my door in my old scrap room and I have a lot of utilitarian type of glues my glue gun and glue stick are here I keep notepads and all that I am gonna go ahead and hang it behind that door and then the last thing in my oh, my new room, which I banged into it, I have a couch. I have a whole freaking couch in here. This was um, my mom's couch. It was in her living room. We bought it for her. Uh, it was the house that we sold before mine. And we have a guest room for her and my grandma here because they don't live here in California all the time. So we were always having to take care of their house, which was an investment for us. So, you know, one of the things that prompted this whole move was let's just get rid of the two houses that we have to upkeep and are having issues and consolidate into one. And my mom and grandma aren't here all year long anyway. So then they wouldn't have to worry about upkeeping their yard and all that. So her couch got moved into this room. So that gives you an idea. I'm going to come back out and kind of pan around. That gives you an idea of how how big this room is. I am just like in shock, really. And and uh, please, no one hate me. <laughs> I know it's just like incredible. And I'd be jealous of me, and I don't want anyone to be jealous. I hope people are happy for me. Um, but I have all this space as my new craft space. I think, can I call it a craft studio if it's just so darn freaking big or, or what? We'll see. It's not, it's not pretty right now. It's going to be more functional than, you know, I'm not going to have like super duper beautiful cabinetry and all that. It's just going to be more functional, but it's, it's, it's going to be a great space. Oh, the last thing I'll show you is... If you come around to the hallway, so we are on the second floor hallway. Those are all the boxes that I need to unpack into this room now. All right. Thank you so much for <laughs> sticking by watching this if you're here at the end. Um, I, I thought this would be fast and I can't do fast, obviously. Um, but this is my big crafty space. I will be doing some scrapbooking in that area and hopefully I will be bringing more videos to you very soon. We, we're, we're settling in and it might take a few more weeks of just feeling like I have the time, but I'll ramp up on the videos and lots more sharing. Thanks for watching and have a great day.